So these are going to be reviews of steel products. We are a landscaping company. Um, I am not a professional steel technician, so if I misquote something, please forgive me. Put any comments or questions down below. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. We are going to be doing reviews of all the steel equipment that our local dealer sells. So if you've got any questions, just let us know. Hey everyone, today we're going to do a review of a steel MS261 C-M. We personally have this saw. This is a great saw for higher end commercial professional use. This is a smaller compact professional saw. The price range is, will reflect that. When we filmed this, it was around $550 for this saw, but it's really worth it. Um, it comes with an 18 inch bar, and we'll get in here and show you some more of these features. So on this saw, you can see here you've got your oil fill for your bar oil. This is all uh, cast metal. It's not plastic like on your uh, homeowner saws. It also has these big uh, dogs here. It has these sight lines and you use this when you're felling a tree so you know uh, where you're cutting it. On the top up here it's got your compression release for your valve for starting. The other cool thing on this saw is since this is the M-Tronic, the uh, starting is really simple. You push it down, you choke it, then it returns to the run position. There is no you know, middle position, it's choke and run. Okay, on the bar side of the saw, one thing that good to notice is this case is actually metal, it's not plastic, so you don't have to worry about this breaking. Um, it also supports the bar a lot better. These nuts are actually captured nuts, which means when you loosen these to take this cover off, these nuts will stay with this cover. They're not gonna fall off and you don't have to, you know, keep track of them. Pretty standard, you've got your chain grab here. The other thing with this saw is the air filtration. It has quarter turn nuts. So you just pop those. If you notice here, this is a heavy duty air filter. It twists on. It's a pleated air filter. So it's a little more durable than like your home under grade saws. Here you can see the Mtronic carburetor or I guess kind of carburetor fuel injected that goes off the engine RPMs so you don't have to worry about running the saw too lean or over revving it does all that for you to put this on it just twist on right here to start the saw you Squeeze the throttle, you put that in the start position. You would press the decompression valve. Once you start the saw, you give it some throttle and it goes to the run position. There is no halfway choke. And then you'd be ready to work. Okay, so to just recap what makes this saw professional versus this 271, these are both 50cc saws. The big differences are this one only weighs like a little over 10 pounds. This is a little over 12 pounds. Another thing besides the weight is this one, the construction is the body of it and this side plate is metal versus this is plastic. The air filter is not going to be as durable as the 261. The way you take this off is this actually has screws instead of the quarter turn locks. There's no compression release where you get that in this saw. And the way the cylinder head is, the design of the cylinder head, the crank, all those components are just heavier duty in this saw. This saw is good if you're gonna use it for 
you know, if you cut a lot of firewood, um, if you're using a saw, you know, three to four times a week, this is the saw that you're going to want to buy. You're going to want to stay away from that mid-range uh, landscaping type saw. Okay, that was a review of the steel product that our local dealer carries. If you've got a question or would like a review on a certain piece of equipment, post a comment below and we'll try to do that next.